Dear students, now we are going to solve important problem in full wave rectifier circuit. Before going to solve the problem, let's discuss important formulas used in this FWR. Here the AC input signal is represented as Vm sin omega t or Vm cos omega t. So here Vm represents the maximum voltage of the AC input signal. Similarly, the maximum current is equal to Vm by RL. Okay. So next average or DC value where Vdc is equal to 2 Vm by pi. Idc is equal to 2 Im by pi. Next the RMS values of voltage and current. RMS values means root mean square values. It represents the AC content. Okay. So here the voltage value is Vm by square root 2. IRMS is equal to IM by square root 2. The next one is efficiency. It is defined as the ratio of the DC output power to the AC input power. So it can also be represented as VDC by VRMS the whole square because the DC output power is equal to VDC into IDC or VDC squared by RL. The AC input power is equal to VRMS into IRMS that is also equal to VRMS squared by RL. So in this full wave rectifier the efficiency is always around 81 percentage. Okay you have to remember this. So the next one is ripple factor. So here ripple factor defines the unwanted AC component present in the DC output. So here Gamma is equal to VRRMS divided by VDC. So what is this VRRMS? This is the AC content in the output side. So that is equal to square root of VRMS squared minus VDC squared. This is the ripple voltage that is divided by the DC voltage. It represents the ripple factor. The amount of AC component present in the DC output. Okay. The last one is transformer utilization factor simply tau. So in this one we are having center tap transformer. So here the tap for secondary winding is 0.811. The tap for primary winding is 0.576. The average between these two is the overall transformer utilization factor. Its value is always 0 0.693. Okay. So you have to remember all these values. Let's solve this problem. A 230 volt 60 hertz voltage is applied to the primary of 5 is to 1 step down center tap transformer used in a full wave rectifier having a load of 900 ohm. If the diode resistance and the secondary coil resistance together has a resistance of 100 ohm determine the DC values, RMS values, peak inverse voltage, efficiency, ripple voltage and its frequency, ripple factor and form factor. Okay. So in the solution part, first we have to write the given data. So they have given us the input voltage given to the primary winding of a transformer that is 230 volt. Here the step down ratio is 5 is to 1. Okay. The load resistance is 900. The diode resistance and the secondary coil resistance together as 100 ohm. That's what given here. In the solution, we have to write the given data. Primary winding voltage is equal to 230 volt. Load resistance is equal to 900 ohm. The diode resistance and the secondary coil resistance together as 100 ohm. Step down ratio as 5 is to 1. So we are going to find out the DC values, RMS values, efficiency, ripple factor and peak inverse voltage. So first we are going to find out the VRMS value. For that we have to consider the secondary winding voltage. It can be obtained by dividing the primary winding voltage by the step down value. So 230 divided by 5 that is equal to 46 volt. This is the secondary winding voltage in full wave rectifier. Center tapped transformer is used. So we need to find out the voltage from center tap to 1N. Okay. So here this VRMS is equal to 46 divided by 2. As you all know that center tapped means what? Here it is the primary winding 
here it is the secondary winding we are going to take the send it up value with respect to this middle point okay so here it is having v1 here it is v2 here 230 volt is given to this primary winding the overall secondary winding value is 46 okay but we have to find out any one of this voltages so here we can take the half of the secondary value as the vrms1 so here vrms is equal to what 23 volt so after getting this vrms we can easily find out irms value that is equal to vrms divided by sum of all the resistance values so here vrms divided by rl plus rs plus rd that is equal to 23 divided by 900 plus 100 then answer is 0 0.023 amps or 23 milliamps okay next we are going to find out the dc values so first one is the dc voltage that is equal to 2 vm by pi here vm is the maximum voltage it is not given in the problem so that can be calculated by using this formula vrms into square root 2 then we can get vm is equal to 23 into square root 2 that is equal to 32.527 Substitute this value in this formula to get the DC voltage. So here it is 2 into 32.527 divided by pi. Its value is 20.7 volt. So next IDC that is equal to VDC by the sum of all the resistances. So here it is 20.7 divided by 100 plus 900. Then we can get 20.7 milliamps as IDC okay DC current value so next we are going to find out the efficiency eta it is the ratio of the DC output power to AC input power so here the DC power delivered to the load is equal to VDC into IDC simply substitute these two values here VDC value is 20.7 IDC value is 20.7 milliamps that means 10 to the power minus 3 then we can get the DC output power is equal to 0.4285 watts. Okay. Similarly, we can get the AC input power that is equal to VRMS into IRMS. That value is 0.529. Okay. Then we have to substitute this DC power and AC power in this efficiency formula. Efficiency is always represented in terms of percentage. So we have to multiply with this 100 okay dc output power is 0 0.4285 ac input power is 0 0.529 then the efficiency is equal to 81 percentage so you have to remember this the efficiency of full wave rectifier is always around 81 percentage okay so the next one is peak inverse voltage that is equal to 2 into the maximum voltage the maximum voltage is 32.527 then we can get the peak inverse voltage for this full wave rectifier is 65 volt. Okay. So the next one is a ripple voltage. As I told you ripple means what? The unwanted AC content in the DC output. So here we can get this ripple voltage by using this formula square root of VRMS square minus VDC square. Then we can substitute these values here. The answer is 10 volt. Okay. So the ripple voltage is 10 volt. Then the frequency of ripple is 2 into the given frequency range. Here it is 60 hertz. This is what given in the problem. Okay. So here the ripple frequency is 120 hertz. Okay. Next one is ripple factor. Gamma is equal to square root of VRMS by VDC the whole square minus 1. We have to substitute the values of VRMS and VDC in this formula. That is 23 by 20.7 the whole square minus 1. That answer is 0 0.484. This is the ripple factor value. So next one is form factor. The form factor value for this full wave rectifier is always 1.11. And peak factor value is square root of 2. Okay. Similarly, the Transformer utilization factor tough is equal to 0 0.693 for this full wave rectifier. Okay.